Bomb sniffing dogs are able to detect prostate cancer with 95% accuracy. Just this month, scientists announced that a German Shepherd mix called Frankie could detect thyroid cancer in urine samples with an 88% success rate. It's a big deal. Now, two more German Shepherds have been tainted, trained to detect prostate cancer, and they are getting it right more than 95% of the time. Sometimes, folks, nature is the best remedy. Okay, prostate cancer is one of the leading causes of cancer death among men, and it's currently detected by a blood test. There's a certain antigen in your blood. Now, it's present in our blood normally, but it's called prostate-specific antigen, and it's produced by cells of the prostate gland. But when we start to see a spike in levels higher than normal, that could be an indicator that you could have prostate cancer. Other things such as inflammation or a urine infection can cause an increase in the blood PSA, but generally it's a pretty good indicator. But there's a clear need for a better type of prostate cancer test, and now scientists are looking to dogs for that solution. So here's what they did in the study. They took two German shepherds who had been previously taught to sniff bombs, okay? and they trained them to identify this PSA, this prostate-specific antigen. They then tested them out on 362 patients with cancer of the prostate and 540 controls. One dog was able to detect prostate cancer 100% of the time. The other was able to pick it up 98.6% of the time. And one dog only had seven false positives and the other had 13 false positives. So these are really, really promising numbers, right folks? One of the reasons that this is good, sure, maybe the future is gonna be that you go into your doctor's office and there's a, a dog there that's gonna sniff your body for prostate cancer or your urine, I guess. But the real thing is that there are a lot of more in-depth chemicals other than this antigen that we could go into. So they don't know specifically which chemical the dogs are hitting on. And if they can figure that out and isolate it, they might be able to have a better test moving forward. Pretty cool stuff, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.